And it's already time for another Scrollbox video. I wasn't really planning on doing it as soon, but I'm going on holiday next week and I just need to film some videos. And also I've been like packing orders for like a week. I haven't been in my studio for a week. So I haven't been drawing for a week. <laughs> So I just need something to get back into art and this is probably the perfect way to do it because I don't know what I'm gonna do yet and um, The next video I'm going to film which is for next week when I'm away um, is a creature design video So it'll be fun. Anyway, I got this like right after I posted the first one So I was uh, like, oh, okay, we'll have to do that soon then before I forget. So here we are. Oh, that was loud Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I also had to avoid like every other video with the same box. I was like, no, don't show me. I don't want to see. Anyway, let's let's open this up. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, what is? Oh my god, this is the pet. I already have these. <laughs> well, thank you for refilling it. <laughs> oh no way! Summer flourish is the theme. Let's look at this. We have watercolor, my speciality now, I guess, which is so funny. And it didn't used to be this. This is very interesting. Wow, wow, wow. Candy. <laughs> you know what's funny? I just got this pen to use it for white highlights with watercolor and colored pencils. And this is the exact brand I use, and this is the exact brand I got. This is like such a cool box. This is exactly what I use myself. How funny. Oh, I love the stickers. I need to make a wall just with all these stickers. And the artist of the month is... Me, me, milk, milk too? Drawn a feet. Yay, that's really cute. Ooh, and we got watercolor paper. Oh, it's really good watercolor paper too. I got proper paper this time. Some people were saying like, I got the wrong paper last time and that's probably what happened. And I was like, probably. This is so cute. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Travel set, is this a, what kind of, I'm pretty sure it's probably not like artist quality. Maybe it's student grade, I'm guessing. Doesn't say. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were losing one. Yay. This is so much fun. I'm gonna get to try more watercolors <laughs> that I haven't tried before. Yay, tiny brush. It's really nice, actually. Let's just break it a little bit. There we go. I think it's the same. No, it's actually smaller than... This is the one I have from the other set. And I love this one because it's longer and it's also protected when I, I travel. So this is the one I use all the time. But this is tiny. This is really tiny. It's actually kind of maybe too bad. Too tiny? No, we'll see. That's really cool. Okay, Summer Flourish. Summer Flourish. I kind of want to do similar... I did this the last video as well, like, a different style. So I really like this kind of style, so we might do that. <sighs> I guess I should swatch one of the pieces of paper, but at the same time, I feel like... Yeah, I probably should. Like, I got two pieces of paper, so I guess we'll, we'll test on one and we'll do the art on the other. Like the way we did before. All right, let's do some sketching with the red pencil. Oh, we didn't try to erase it. Oh, well, it works, but I feel like it's gonna ruin the paper. I feel like I already know these materials. I already know how to use this kind of style. So I'm like, oh well. All right, I've got some water. Uh, this is really nice, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's really nice watercolor. I'm actually, I didn't think it would be that nice, so I'm actually a little, a little bit impressed. Oh my god, I'm actually loving these colors. Probably should move away the piece of paper I'm gonna use for the actual art, <laughs> so I don't accidentally mark it. I don't see much difference between those two, I don't know why they would include two different colors. In this. Now I'm criticizing, whoa, who said Della Browning? But there's set <laughs> instead of like Dina. It's just a set of colors. I know I'm swatching them smaller, but I just remembered that I need somewhere to sketch my ideas. And I also hate swatching, so... So I think we've almost swatched all of it, except for... Um, 
the Posca pen, which I'm going to start pumping right now so that we can try it. Oh, this is actually better than the one I got. I should have gotten this one. <laughs> now, to figure out what to actually draw. That is the big question right now. So we have the theme of the month, or the challenge, I guess it's called, um, is Summer Flourish. And I don't know, gal. I really want to do this a girl. Like, like, I want to do it like this, like a girl on a piece of paper with something around her. And honestly, what I'm thinking about is sunflowers and just magic. But flourish makes me think of magic, okay? So, girl, hair going out to every side. And then... I think of Midsummer and some flowers and stuff like that just makes me think of Midsummer. And I sort of really want to have. So I really like the dark color, even though I know it's not very summery. Maybe we can try a different pose. So she's looking down this way. That's my go to pose, just like from the front. So. Let's zoom in. So what if she's like looking down to the side? Her hair is going out and everywhere. Big curly hair. So the thing I'm thinking is that I'll have I'll see if I can if I mix the paints grey with the The, the green, look at what kind of color we get out of that to make a bit of a, I don't know, I just, since we got the the white from the Posca pen, I kind of just want to go crazy. Would it be cheating if I found my other polychromos pencils? <laughs> it's the same materials. <laughs> ever do anything like trying to do a color thumb. I never do this usually. This is this is never something I do. But it's fun. It's fun especially when I'm testing things. Like I don't know how things will react. Usually I know how things will react. But right now I don't so Okay, I want the Bertsy on the... I think it's not as dark as I thought it would be actually on the picture, it's just looks a little darker. The one thing that I will not know is like how long things need to dry in this with this paint or this paper. Like usually I'm very like, I know the paper I'm using, I know how long it takes to dry, but this feels like it's going to take longer to dry <laughs> than I usually take care to notice. I'm having a lot of fun with this paper. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a lot of fun. I might give her some yellow flowers in her hair as well when I actually do the, <laughs> the painting. This is just like for color studies and see what I'm what I'm doing. I'm trying to get as many colors as I can in here. I'm just gonna do like a loish piece. <laughs> That's all I can think about right now is like loish. I like this one. I feel like I can do something pretty with that. All right, shall we start sketching them? All right, it's already really nerve-wracking trying to sketch on the <laughs> the piece of paper I have left. Oh gosh. Okay. Worst comes to worst, we'll use the back side of this, but I don't really want to. Actually, it's 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 doing better than my normal paper. I think it's just because it's a lot thicker. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll end up getting this paper, who knows. I want to have like a frame like she has in her piece, but I can't really sketch that out. So I'm gonna go here. 
It's already looking so much different. Uh, I'm gonna use my own eraser. <laughs> because I, personally, I don't like the one that's... I'm gonna use the one from the previous scroll box, so it doesn't feel like too much of a, a cheat. But I don't like this really hard white one that comes with it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually loving her a lot. Uh, <laughs> so we have our three sunflowers here and they're kind of having their stems down. So I'm kind of just imagining her making them sprout, I guess. What is it with me and sprouts? <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought... I, I, I just I just really like how it, it's looking, okay? I, I just really like. So I'm going to fade, instead of going like here, where I have dark on the bottom, I'm actually going to keep it like this, where it's gr green to kind of like the gray, and of course the yellow around. But it's good to kind of start out with like a base gradient on the back. Um, it will kind of help me out. So I'm actually going to get some proper paper so I can then blot the colors properly. This is just to keep, keep the paper in place while I do my washes. And I'm actually so excited for this one. I feel like she's not quite centered, but that's all right. We, we can't have everything in the world. So I'm going to just, ooh, that's, I need to wash my brush properly. Um, I'm just going to add water to wherever I know I'm going to add that gradient all right okay 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 okay. i think we're ready to go with the green first because that's the lightest color of what we're doing so Whee! this is always fun Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm not going to talk for just a little bit, so that I just I can get this right. So I'm already messing it up. <laughs> so now I want all that yellow in here, so I'm trying not to use too much green right, right there. Okay, I need this now. Love how the yellow spreads, just goes whoop. This is everywhere. <laughs> ah, magic! I'm picking up some of the water, so it's not like piling up too bad. Maybe I should start using more of this like heavyweight weight paper, so I can do stuff like this more. I'm actually going to try and. Get all the brown in here. I want I want the hair to kind of be quite flowy because I'm going to use the pencil later to darken up any areas that needs to be darker. So I'm just using a lot of water now. I'm not going to try and not get any edges. But I like that it mixes with a darker color so that we get a darker kind of blur. God, I feel like I just like pile on the water on this paper. I've never done this before. I've never done this much like big of a wash. Okay, oh my god, I was focusing so hard, I'm so sorry, I didn't talk at all. Um, it takes a lot of effort trying to get a gradient to look good, so it, it takes me concentration, and that's probably the only time I can't talk to the camera at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite, 
I'm having a lot of fun with this. I think it's the paper that's doing it for me. I think I should get this paper for <laughs> regular use. Anyway, I need to clean my brush properly so that I can do her skin. I think that's the next step. Um, I think that's what I did before as well. But it might be wet still. It looks quite wet and I don't have a hair dryer, so maybe I should wait. You know what? I'll have my candy, shall I? All right, I think it's, I think it's dry enough. Um, um, I just don't have my patience to keep waiting. So we're gonna start doing her skin tone. I'm just gonna start with this flat color that is, which color is that? I think it's Rosiana, but it kind of looks different. Oh, actually, no, it's uh, light red or something. It's very confusing. The color swatches on the packaging of the thing is not the same as my swatches. So I'm just gonna give her her whole face, her whole body, in the same gradient. I'm going to go in and do details and stuff. The thing is, we don't have any line work done, so I just have to hope that it kind of stays a little bit visible. Like so, and I'm gonna add in this crimson that I was using earlier. Well, I wasn't using it, but I was, I was using it for the swatch color test. I'm not used to doing lineless watercolor. I think that's what I'm feeling right now. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do this. All right. It's nervous wracking trying to do this without like destroying the drawing. And some here, and some here. I think I'm gonna try and add some yellow to her face actually, which is gonna be a risky move, but I think that kind of worked actually. I am going to add darker shadows to her. So it should be fine. The the yellow is actually quite opaque. Now that I like try and work with it. I'm just going crazy with like just putting colors here and there, like I don't really care where they are. Just continue layering, I guess. I'm just trying to think of where, if the light was coming from underneath her, where does the shadows appear? Where is the dark spots? That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. And some things are still quite wet here, so it's gonna be... Alright, I actually am so happy with that. Like, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing yet, but I'm seeing progress and different style. <laughs> Again, I think this is, is quite a good way of doing the scroll box challenge though, just to see if I can do other sort of styles and techniques. Because I, I don't usually do this technique, but since, since we're doing different things, well, getting different materials, it makes me more inclined to try things. Alright, I think we're not closing in on finishing, but uh, <laughs> why am I spending so much more time on this than my usual pieces? It's very weird. Uh, I still need to add the green to this part of her, but um, I think I'll have to wait. Because now I've just added like 
white paint, but I'm going to add a bit of shadow underneath some of the sunflowers. I'm just going to be shading all the sunflowers. I'm just going to have a nice time trying to do make them look nice. Ah, god damn it. My hand is like full of paint. This is the usual occurrence for me, apparently. Actually, the uh, the green is creating a nice shadow on her, so I'm actually going <laughs> to add that in. I think I'm going to clean these up more with just my um, color pencil, because I think I got a green and a brown, so it will work perfectly for that. Alright. I think we're almost ready to start like adding in textures and lines and stuff and I'm very excited. Just have to let it dry for a little bit and then uh, and then we can start. Just make it it making it finished. Like you could probably just continue and adding like darker areas, darker areas, and that will kind of work as the lines, but I that'll take a while and I don't have time for that right now. But maybe at one time in the future, if you guys like this kind of style, we can try and do more of it. Like, I don't mind, we can try. I know this area is not dry yet, but I just wanna, I just wanna start doing your face, I'm sure it's fine. Actually, maybe it's not fine. Okay, I need to stop, like I'm going, I know if I continue doing that, I know I'm gonna mess it up, so I'm gonna go. It's like not drawing at all because it's just too, too wet. Ugh, oh, I'll just have to leave it. We'll have to come back. <laughs> Alright, I, I let it dry for a little bit. There's a van outside, so please ignore any noise you hear. But, uh, probably have to let it dry for longer. But I, I, don't, I don't have the time. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun because it's denting down the paper because <laughs> the paper is quite wet. Ugh, I have to wait for that to dry. It's so frustrating. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna use this on the, the green and see if I can do something here at least. Probably gonna keep it quite soft because there's I don't have anything else to line with. Oh wait, I have a red pencil. I sometimes I do. Ah, doesn't doesn't work at all. <laughs> Nothing happened. Okay, I don't think I'll get any more anything on more on the paper right now. Um, it's just too moist still I, th I i still like it a lot and i'm just gonna add some some white details uh because i feel like i can do that and then we're almost done oh that's fun <laughs> adding in details like that oh god you can't really see it in this area, these areas, but I will add them where I feel like I can add some light. I would actually love to take out my brown like inking pen and like add some more darker like lines around her eyes. I think I might do that just just because it would be nice to just have a tiny bit darker eyelashes, but at the same time I feel like if I do that, I cheat, and I don't want to cheat. I really want to unload brown fun, because I have it right here. Just there. That, that, that's all. That's all I know. I'll go back to my the pencil that I got. <laughs> 
Anyway, let's peel off this paper. Ugh, you know what? We have to do this now. Because I was being a dummy. If you add it one place, I should have known this. If you add it one place, you have to add it to other places. And that's what I knew. All right, that's it. No more. <laughs> let's peel this off. There we go. This is my scroller box piece, and I'm so happy with it. So here is the thumbnails and the swatches. Wait, I'm gonna lay this out nicely. There we go, that kind of works. I'm gonna do some zoom over so you can see this closer, but I'm like really happy with it. It's just a different style that I usually do. Darker, more like glowy, more washes. I just had a lot of fun. I am really excited about this. I hope you guys liked my experimenting with new watercolor and just a new technique and uh i'm excited now for the next month's scroll box i'm sure it'll come like in the next few weeks <laughs> and i'm just super excited thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next week i will be on holidays so i won't be um commenting back or replying to any comments next week this week when this video goes up i will but next week's video i probably won't reply to anything before i come back hope you guys understand have a lovely uh, week a month i don't know what i'm saying thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> i'll see you guys later Bye bye